I'm nervous. Right, I'm out here in Alpe d'Huez to take part in something that I want to tick off on my bucket list, and that is entering the Mega Avalanche. It's a downhill race, it's a marathon really. It starts at 3,330 meters and drops down to 720 down Almond Valley. It's super loose, man. And I do not know what to expect. First off, I need to go and find out where I need to sign up, get a number board, and get this whole thing kicked off. Right, just arrived. I'm gonna sign up, get my race board. Super nervous. Rat boy and a crew are in front of me. I've just seen the map of the whole thing. I'm gonna to have to show you, it's massive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> right, I've just signed up to this mega avalanche. One of the bucket list things that I've always wanted to do since I've started mountain biking. I've never raced downhill. I've never done an enduro race. I've never done it, but I wanted to do this. And I've signed it up. I've got my board. I'm pretty, pretty low. I'm pretty low number, which is a pretty good number. But all I now need is a mountain bike, which I didn't bring with me, but I've heard there's a surprise in my hotel room for this to go onto it. Let's go and find a look. Let's go look at it. Let's go find it. Ah! Right, for a start, this is the Nuke Proof Mega, and what better way to ride my first ever Mega Avalanche than on a frame that was specifically designed for all of this, the Nuke Proof Mega. I can't wait. I'm gonna stick my number board on here. Gonna have a little ride on the street just to see what this big wheel stuff's all about. Oh, that was, yeah, didn't even feel that. Wow, it's fast, dude. Wonder what it's like climbing 29 inch wheels. Okay, I think I can get used to 29 inch wheels. Damn it! And like I gaffed off this, sheet, this rock, didn't see what was on the other side, and I landed directly on the sharpest rock that this whole mountain has to offer. Change it up, keep shredding. Right, we caught the lift up, but we got told to get off at first station because we're on the last one. We couldn't get all the way to the top, and I'm still stoked on shredding my new proof here. Uh, I'm gonna shred this thing, dude. Get some turns, just have fun, snap some insta bangers, get some air, have fun, all the way to the bottom, to the hotel, grab a beer, celebrate. First day shredding this bike, man. Right, some of you probably don't know what the Mega Avalanche is all about, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lowdown on what this event is all about. Basically, it starts right at the top of this huge mountain of Peck Blanc, 3,330 meters, and it starts on a glacier, so you start on snow right at the top, which is gnarly, and it drops down, it's 30 kilometers long, and it ends up in the meadows of Almont, which is 720 meters down in the valley, just on my left right over there, and it is a grueling race. It's not easy, it's hard. Right, this is a three-day event with qualifying on a Friday. There's different categories. There's a female category, there's kids category, and then there's a big category with all the men get to ride, and there's an e-bike category as well. So you get given your number, you get put in a group of 200 riders in your starting gate, and it doesn't matter, you could be racing, if you're a super beginner guy, you can be racing against Sam Hill. As long as you try and get in the top 35, you can get put in the main event on a Sunday. But if you didn't make the top 35, you still get to race, that's on a Saturday. But at the end of the day, every single dude that races in qualifying gets to have the go, 
to race from the right at the top all the way down to complete the mega. Right, most people come out like three or four days before the whole event just to get to ride the track because it is technical and you don't want to go off the wrong cliff into this trail because it can go super wrong. And also, who rides in snow every day? And the main event starts in the snow and it's quite gnarly because it's quite fast, quite slippery, anything can go wrong. So you've got to practice all this before you start the race. Okay, so the qualifying track is a totally different track to the Mega Avalanche main track. It starts on a different part of the mountain and it descends down. It's about 18 to 30 minutes long, depending on how fast you ride this, this whole track. It's grueling, it's technical, it's fast, there's not much of a climb in it. And it ends up in the Alp d'Huez village right behind me, outside the sports hall, where you get through and you get your time and you get your position. You don't have to be the fastest rider out there to win this event, but it all comes down to how you're going to race it because it's such a long event. It's a marathon at the end of the day. It's a downhill marathon. And if you come up with a bit of a technical issue at the front of the pack, it's so hard to continue to race after that because it's all based on time. So if you're in the front and you get a problem, that's game over. You could end your whole race right there. This is the lift to the top. I haven't even ridden the top bit actually. I'm super scared, but it's fine. I'll just follow someone through and I'll be all right. As long as I get down to the section where I know the whole thing, I'll be all right. <laughs> 10 seconds, the first drop in of qualifying. I am so nervous, dude. So nervous. Oh my. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. Right, it's all kicked in. I'm nervous. I'm super nervous now. Not gonna lie. Just the last dude getting in there. Sorry, English, yeah. Sorry. Push through, yeah. Man, front row, third group. I can't wait. Super nervous though. Look. One big massive you are crash, for 10 years, a puncture, and I'm still loving it. I'm first. absolutely knackered, I'm dead. Oh, I'm in the mega, and the mega's twice as long as that. I can't, I can't wait to do another one. <laughs> Look at this, day three, and I'm practicing the mega avalanche track. I haven't quite done that bit over there, but this is putting into a huge perspective because I can't even see the top of that mountain. It's so far away and you gotta go around that thing. And then this is the last, well, this is the next bit of this track where it gets technical. It's single track, it's gnarly. We're at 2000 meters right now and it goes all along this, it traverses along like this guy's doing right here and it goes all the way around and down into Alamon. It is mind blowing. I am super nervous because that is very high up. And this is, and there's another 1,330 meters to go. Oh.
Oh, this is it. Is this the finish? And I'm the only one here. Does that mean I won? No, <laughs> jokes. That was insane. Absolutely insane. I loved it. The top section, rocks, not so keen on them. This bit here through the woods, I'm super keen on that. But it's actually started to rain. We've just got to the bottom of this valley. We need to be on that side of the mountain. And hopefully the lifts are running. But tomorrow's the day. I can't wait. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Just queuing up, get to the top, started to rain. Not nervous yet till I get up there, then I'm like nervous kicking in. This is it. Five minutes to kick off. I'm with a nuke proof crew and we're gonna have a battle slash have rad times slash heckle slash just get down to the bottom. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> position if you've got the power. <laughs> hey, well, this is good training for worst of man. <laughs> I'm pumped the hard in. Oh man, what an epic event. I've loved it, but I, I've just half ticked the box because as you see, we've started lower. We didn't start from right at the top on the glacier where it was all supposed to kick off from the classic mega avalanche, which I haven't done. So it's like half tick on my uh, bucket list, but that means I'm coming back next year to take on the mega avalanche yet again, because I want the full tick, man. I want to go from the top. I want to start off in the snow, but result wise so i had some super technical issues in qualifying which set me way down so i managed to get in on the back of the main event right at the back there was two groups that go there's 338 riders i was 338 i ended up overtaking 141 riders would i ended up in 197 position which was amazing because the best thing about the whole event was overtaking people doing the crazy climb. It was insane. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I'm dying right now because of tiredness, but I'm so happy I did it. And thanks to you for following the whole thing. But if you want to see more videos, click just over here for Enduro versus Downhill. That's a rad edit. And over here, 
on my road to whip off where I did to Leger Crankworks, which was sick. Don't forget to click this rad little globe right here. You won't miss another video just like this one. And if you loved it, definitely give it a thumbs up like.